Yesterday I had a question over on Twitter that I've been asked a few times, so I thought I'd cover it here in a video today. Marcos the Great has asked, GP Lama, any thoughts on how accurate the cadence readings are from the Tax Neo as opposed to a Garmin or similar dedicated cadence sensor? Marcos, great question, and I've had this one a few times. Backpedaling just a little bit for some history on cadence sensors on bicycles, what we've used in the past typically have been reed switches, which are a simple closing of a circuit once a magnet passes. They're really that simple. Technology from 1936, still in use today. An example of one of those units still for sale today would be the tax speed and cadence sensor here, speed and cadence, both reed switches, and you can hear when I pass a magnet near the speed sensor. It's closing that circuit and sending the data off. Pretty simple little device. More recently, we've seen accelerometers on uh, cranks, so something like this little Bluetooth Ant Plus compatible one here and another one here that simply stick on your crank and as they move around, it's a digital accelerometer, so it sort of knows where it is in time and space and knows when you've turned the crank. They're pretty cool tech. But over to the smart trainers though. How does a smart trainer actually calculate your cadence without a sensor? Tax themselves have a really good explanation of how things work on their trainers on this defining cadence section of their website. So, defining cadence, interactive trainers of tax measure your cadence without the help of a sensor. It's exactly why we're looking at this. The trainer is constantly aware of this, your speed and uses this to determine your cycling movement. This is translated into English, so it might not be quite correct, but the concept is spot on. The speed is zero at the top of the pedal stroke and is maximal in between. My interpretation of that is, they're talking about the dead spots on your pedal stroke. So all the smart trainer knows is the tension on the chain. It knows there's lower tension during the dead spot and maximal tension during each downstroke or downward stroke. And because there's two of those per revolution, you can see there the two oscillations. When it counts two, that's one cadence registered. So pretty simple the way to do it. Not just tacks that do this, there's other smart trainers out there that choose to estimate or calculate your cadence based on this. So it's not purely guesswork, it is computed, I guess you'd call it, uh, based on mathematics and some pretty cool sensitivity in the system. Um, jumping over here to DC Rainmaker's Analysis Tool, my favorite website on the internet. Here is a session that I've done looking at the Tax Neo Smart Trainer Cadence, the Garmin Vector 3 Cadence, and the Rotor Twin Power Cadence, all three different systems measuring cadence in their own little special way. And we can see here the numbers aren't too bad. My experience is that I find the Tax Neo is probably one to two RPM lower in estimating my cadence or calculating my cadence compared to a true either reed switch or accelerometer based cadence sensor such as these other power meters we've got here. So that number, it's typically good enough. Look, one to two RPM at about 90 to 100 RPM, you only have to think a little bit more faster with, about your legs. Trust me, try it, it's quite an interesting little uh, experiment. But if you just think faster, you'll actually start pedaling that one to two faster. So for me, the Tax Neo calculated cadence is good enough. It works quite well. Other people have reported with their trainers, it doesn't quite work that well for them and it's quite erratic. That could be due to a number of factors. Typically it might be your pedal stroke not being uniform enough for it to calculate what's going on. In that case, grab yourself a accelerometer based cadence sensor or a reed switch based cadence sensor and be done with it. Or if you really want to screw with the algorithm, you can switch your Tax Neo into one of those uh, demonstration modes or experimental modes one of which is called isotonic mode, which means you have to put, or even forces you putting the same pressure on the pedals the whole way around the pedal stroke. This will throw this absolutely out the window. So interesting stuff. So there we have it. That's how smart trainers calculate your cadence. It's pretty good for me. Your mileage may vary. If you find it's completely off, grab yourself a separate cadence sensor and away you go. So thanks to Marcos for the question, and I hope that is a uh, good clarification of how this all works. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.